Well, the University of Kansas Hospital says Kansas doctors are overprescribing antibiotics. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi found out why the federal government is calling on doctors to cut down on how often they prescribe them. Stephanie Avila went to a local doctor for a urinary tract infection. I went in there with the intent to tell them and get some antibiotics so it could um, help that situation. And um, they refused. And I thought, I have to start work here in a couple days and I can't be sick. State health officials are encouraging doctors to prescribe antibiotics more appropriately as Kansas ranks high in the number of prescriptions doctors write for patients. We have the potential of entering into the post antibiotic era. I'm at the state capitol where Governor Jeff Collier declared this week use antibiotics wisely week after a request from the Kansas Department of Health and Environment. So I spoke to experts to find out why over prescribing antibiotics can be so harmful. The idea isn't to stop the use of antibiotics, but to prescribe them more appropriately. Antibiotics can save lives and they are critical tools in the treatment of bacterial infections. But Mary Roy at Stormont Vale Hospital says antibiotics are not always the right choice. Antibiotics do not affect viruses. Sinus infections, bronchitis are oftentimes viral in nature. And what we have learned is that approximately 30% of all antibiotics that are prescribed on an outpatient basis are unnecessary. We asked the Kansas Department of Health and Environment why the total number of antibiotic prescriptions written in Kansas ranks higher than other states, and they didn't know. Kelly Saberi, KSNT News.